Have you always wanted to be a stud muffin? Or have you always wanted to talk to girls without bursting into flames of embarrassment? Or maybe you have a crush who has bros on you and you want to turn that card around. Well, look no further. You've come to the right place. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry for the accent before, but I don't know what brought that out of me. <laughs> yeah. Today, we will be taking a look at videos online on how to be an alpha male. Are you aesthetic? Well, you should be, because we are about to pick the brains of the industry's finest pickup artist. One who calls himself the attractive man. This guy even has mentorships online for all you sad sorts out there who only spend time with Jasmine and Chantel. Let's dive into the first video where we will learn a few pickup lines that spark attraction and actually work. I'm Matt. He has mastered the art of seduction. Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. A woman wants to be turned on. We've done all the testing and we know what works. My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man, and these are my top 10 pickup lines that actually work. If she has huge breasts, you could even say, Wow, you have amazing eyes. Good move, man. Starting off first impressions by staring at a girl's breasts. Cause that always works. Don't be afraid to escalate, right? Boyfriend and girlfriends usually kiss. Well, if you're gonna be my girlfriend, I have to see if you're a good kisser. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what? Am I missing something? No girl is gonna kiss you when you've only just met, especially after delivering that cheesiest pickup line. I mean, huh? Creep alert! And if she doesn't seem that into the role play, you could always say, mm, you're kinda boring. I think I'm gonna break up with you. So if she's not into the role play, meaning you got royally rejected. You're just gonna further show your awkwardness by telling her it. Hey, come on, man. You don't, wanna, you don't want me? Come on, you don't want me? I'm gonna break up with you. You see a girl at a bar club in the distance and you point at her and you signal her to come here with your finger. Imagine you're having fun at a club and you're just having your own time, minding your own business, when you just so happen to glance at that corner and suddenly this douchebag looking at you from way across the dance floor does this. Who are you calling your dog? Ah? If I can make you come with just one finger, imagine what I can do with my whole body. Okay, so you decided to give this guy the benefit of the doubt and just go over. Maybe he's a nice guy, you never know, right? And upon reaching up to him, he opens up with this inappropriate line. If I could make you come with just one finger, imagine what I'll do with the whole body of mine. <laughs> I mean, has this pickup lines ever worked for you? Now, this is really cheesy, but it's also really sexual and kind of funny, and she'll probably get a laugh at it. Kind of funny? She'll probably get a laugh at it. She'll probably slap you in the freaking face lah. The way he talks kind of reminds me of those airhead jokes you see in high school American movies where borderline sexual harassment jokes are funny to them, and because they are the star of the school, they think it's okay for them to say things like that. And you gotta hear the next pickup line, cause that one is my favorite. Hey, do you believe in vampires? Well, you should. Sexual assault case in three, two, one. And even if she pulls away, it still shows her that you're the type of guy who just does what he wants and doesn't really give a fuck. No, 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 no. If she pulls away, she's about to whoop your ass, you pervert. Yeah, it doesn't go that way, man. It only shows to her that you are a pervert that touches people without their consent. And if you're the type of guy that does whatever he wants and doesn't give a fuck, I got news for you, boy. That's not cool, and you shouldn't do that. Or it'll just creep her out. I mean, this guy even knows that his pickup line has the potential to creep people out, and yet he's teaching people that. Dear impressionable young men of the internet, please, for the love of God, do not listen to this guy. <laughs> well, unless you want to be slapped, kicked in the nuts, or a one-way ticket to the court for sexual harassment, then yeah. You think that based on his claims where these pickup lines actually work, he show you videos of him using it in real life situations with actual success. Not with models who he has hired off Fiverr. You sure it works on a mat, huh? So let's say you're eating at a kopitiam and the chobo across the table looks at you. What do you do? You've done all the testing and you know what works. If you ever had an attractive girl look at you and you didn't know what to do? If you respond the wrong way or even too late, your chances to seal the deal could slip away. And this is what to do if a girl looks at you. This guy talks as if it's a life or death situation for him if he doesn't try and get lit. First, How make sure to, to look back. Women love a man of action. 
Alpha males are what attract women the most, speaks so the word, take the charge Ooh, and control. Fast. Now, most of the time, when a girl looks at you, that means she's interested in you. So that's a great start. Now listen guys, most of the time when a girl looks at you, it means she's interested in you. Not because she has a pair of eyes where she's free to look at anything she wants, it's because she's interested in you. Not because you happen to be standing in front of a poster that she happens to be looking at, it's because she's interested in you. Because given any other time, unless she looks at someone she likes, her eyes are always closed. And remember to focus on her eyes. It can be a total turn off if you're staring down at her body rather than her face. Wait, what? Previously, I'm the attractive man. Wow, you have amazing eyes. A bit contradicting, huh, Matt? Anyway, if you've been following this guy's advice and you've managed to get the girl to talk to you, don't know how that happened, but if you moved on to the next step, what do you do next? Let's move on to the next video. I assure you it gets saucier. 10 ways to touch a girl without creeping her out. Touching releases oxytocin, also known as the love chemical, a powerful bonding hormone that helps people feel more connected and builds trust. You need to touch her. No, 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 my guy, you do not need to touch a girl. Especially if you just met this person, oh my god. And there is no need to put your hands on the girl even if it's just to squeeze past to go to the toilet. <sighs> Depending on the culture, you may also kiss her on the cheek. I mean, how desperate must you be to use culture as an excuse to kiss someone? Eh? So you're just talking and you may touch her arm. This guy's choices of words, I tell you, you may touch her arm. Who gives you the permission? Hello? Or even while you're talking, notice I'm like talking with my hands right now, talking to you, my hands might touch her. So maybe we're at a bar and we're grabbing a drink. We're doing a shot together, right? Every time I do this, I'm like touching her. I mean, this guy is just that one friend or acquaintance that your girlfriend or female friend has who is extremely touchy and takes whatever chances that he gets to brush his hands on your girl or your female friend. No, 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 my guy. Not cool. Not cool at all. Stop it. She touches you first and is constantly getting close to you. One time I was talking to three girls and one of the girls actually spilled her drink on my crotch and she began to wipe it off. She actually crouched down and started wiping. So I took that as a pretty good indicator. One category is still in place. I'll take things that never happened for $1,000. Or even better yet, she looks down at your lips for a second or two every once in a while, which is a very clear indicator that she wants you to I hated to break it to you guys if she's been looking at your lips every single time you guys talk. You probably have some spinach or broccoli stuck right in the middle. First, I want you to focus on feeling sexual in your body. Don't be afraid of your own turn on, your own masculine sexual energy. Now I know sometimes society tells us that this is wrong, but fuck society. Social norms are often very wrong. Huh? Social norms? Do you mean the law on sexual harassment? No? Does that ring a bell? No? Don't do this at work. You will get fired. Whereas during the daytime at maybe a park, at a mall, a coffee shop, wherever. Don't do this at work because you will get fired. But it's okay to do this anywhere else in the park, at a restaurant, by conveying your sexual feelings towards a girl who you do not know at all. Because that's okay. Because this is a face of a guy who oozes sexual tension. Okay, okay, so we've done a bunch of theory at this point and I think it's only fair to proceed on with the practical before I judge this guy any further, right? I mean, give the man a benefit of the doubt. Let's check out this video on what to say if she has a boyfriend. Here's the deal. If a girl rejects you, there's only really two reasons that would happen. Number one, it's something that you did that triggered that. And the second reason is it's all based on her. She's just not into it. Maybe she had a bad day. Listen guys, if a girl rejects you, it can only mean these things. Not because she's actually married or has a boyfriend or girlfriend. It's because you did something wrong in your pickup line. I just saw you like two seconds ago and I thought I would kick myself if I didn't say hi to you. Do you... I don't give up my number. Do you text? Do I text? Not really. I'm really bad with that. Okay, we'll use WhatsApp. Here. You want me to just touch that? I just don't give up my own numbers. 
Eh, hey, come on, lah, bro. I mean, you got burned already, and she didn't even want to give you a socials. Those bad alert. I don't know about you, Mr. Matt, but sometimes in a situation like that, it's best to stop and move on. Think it'll be okay. Here, don't. Me, I, have <laughs> I have a boyfriend. I have enough of this. <laughs> don't be a brat, Dina. Here. Seriously, don't be a brat. Misogynist alert. Misogynist alert. Can someone call the security? Misogynist alert. I mean, look at it. Natalia. Natalia. Yeah. I don't know anything about you. I don't know if we can hang out yet. Is this me? No. Listen, okay. I gotta go. Here. Okay. Take my phone. Wait, well, you're not you're not crazy, right? Uh, I'm not crazy, and I don't take your okay. phone because I'm married. You're married. I, I knew I it. Never, I never did. I had a feeling you were married. There would be <laughs> something totally wrong yeah. with the world if you were married. If you were married. Yeah, I'm married. Okay. Married. I don't want to marry you. Okay. Maybe we'll be Facebook friends. You but you can't, you can't like message me all the time. Yeah, and do all that stuff. You need it. Here. It's okay, but you need to understand. I don't need it. Ah, okay. Here. Yeah, it's it. Put your number in two. No, I don't put you in my number. <laughs> Alright, I push. I give you 100%. I don't I think give you a number. At the end of the day, this girl is married. And no matter how much perseverance and all that you have to go up to this girl, she is married. She's not going to give you a socials. She's not going to give you a Facebook or her number. She clearly said that she does not want to give her number to this guy. Yet, he does not want to back down. He's even trying to trick her into giving him her number. And she clearly is not having any of that. Don't try to pressure a girl into giving you something that she clearly does not want. Yeah, I mean man, you know what the fuck, just give it a rest and fuck off. And it's because of guys like this with these types of mindsets, right, that don't have a clear line on where they should fuck off, creates many problems for many different couples where they try to go after a guy or the girl trying to go after a girl when they know clearly that the girl or guy is attached. But they just want to be there to test and see how far they can go. At the end of most of his videos, this guy promotes his cheat sheet. That's why I created a free conversation cheat sheet. Let's take a look at what's inside. Surprise, surprise, I've got to put in my email. Well, fuck there, you ain't getting my email. Ah, the beauty of internet. When there's a will, there's a way. Okay, so Conversation Cheat Sheet by Matt Artisan. Your go-to guide to knowing what to say in any situation. Four ways to move the relationship to the next level. You won't find cheesy pickup lines here. Are you sure? Matt Artisan is the leading expert in transforming the lives of men and empowering them to create authentic relationships. Based on his groundbreaking understanding of psychology. Sure. Yeah, I mean his cheat sheet is basically a bunch of pickup lines and accolades that I'm pretty sure are kind of fake. I mean, look at this. Um, and mind you, this is going up to girls who do not know you at all. Are you shy? Because I've been here for a while and you haven't talked to me yet. Flirted with me or bought me a drink. You must be shy. This is a great role reversal and slightly meant to be said in a cheeky tone. Here's one more. Sorry I'm late girls. Traffic was horrible. Did you order me a drink yet? If the girls are sitting, then as soon as you say it, sit down next to them. It usually gets a laugh. You can follow up with, actually I thought you girls were cute. So anyways, what kind of trouble are we ladies getting into that tonight? I mean, are you serious? Pulling up a line like that to a bunch of random girls who you do not know, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna laugh and it's probably gonna be fucking awkward just to be sitting there. Alright, so just some parting thoughts. So to me, what's scary is that we've got people like Mr. Attractive uh, dishing out advice like these which he thinks are socially okay. And he's just one of many different pickup artists on YouTube that gives advice like this. And what's even scarier is that there are a bunch of impressionable young men out there taking notes on these type of videos and applying them to real life situations, which is very not okay. Hey guys, if you're watching these, uh, please don't follow his advice. It's super creepy and super not okay to do these to girls, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna pull a YouTuber move over here. I'm gonna say thank you guys and girls for watching the video. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like down below or comment down below and please hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Bye.